They help us make informed decisions and make smart buys when we shop. Today we're learning about the sales clerk. Hi, I'm Brian. Hey, Ryan. Yes. Mark. Welcome to the Sacred Ride. Thanks. Great job. Yeah, let's have a look around. Please. Yeah. I'm a sales clerk at the Sacred Ride in Nelson, British Columbia. You show up for work, and first thing you do is you got to organize the shop. You got to make sure that, you know everything's displayed properly. Um, make sure that you have product to sell. Well, I just do a walk through the shop, make sure there's price tags on everything. You start waiting for the customers to roll in. So this is going to be a pretty large part of your day. Yeah, when you work retail and people try clothes on and. You know, you got to fold clothes is a big part of your day. Sure, so, of course. Yeah. That's a beauty. <laughs> oh, no. Tuck the shoulders, give it a fold. Uh, and that's, walk it over there and display that's it. formal yeah. training. All right, there you formal go. formal training right there. You know, came out west and I was, uh, I was actually working in, in a retail shop and I just ended up staying in the industry. Just weren't always wanted to be around sports equipment and, and selling product and all that stuff. So after a while, Mark, I mean, this really becomes like selling a culture. You're no longer just selling individual items. Absolutely. Um, you know, you want to develop a relationship and kind of, that's a big part of the of selling product, right? Well, yeah, it's all about developing a relationship, yeah. be it with, you know, the customer and the clients, and uh, and that way when they come back, they yeah. want to see you, and you're talking to them about it, and you build that constant rapport. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to get too technical about all the, the materials and all that. You're more selling on what you're going to do. Enjoy the sport and how much fun it is to get out yeah. there in the mountains and just enjoy the lifestyle. You don't need a university degree. You do it would definitely help to take some sales courses along the way. You would, you would definitely benefit from that. You would, you would learn, you'd learn how to approach people better. Uh, you'd feel more comfortable in those situations. Everything that you're selling, your product's constantly changing. Yeah. The, the, st the thing that stays the same is the people, yeah. or the customer. Yeah. So I mean, that's something that, do you feel like you have to know your product better than you know your customer, or vice versa? Well, I mean, this day and age, you gotta stay on top of it. You know, there's mm -hmm. all, the, like, all the trends and stay current with things that are happening. So yeah, attention to detail is huge. You do your best, you know, possible with what you have, the product you have, to keep everything organized and priced, sizing, so you know where everything is when the customer walks in. When you're passionate about something, you, you really care about something, it seems a little bit easier to sell, because you know what you're, you've done it, it's, it's, it's what you do. It's, you know, I ride my bike all the time, so it's easy to sell a bike. When the customer asks me what it's like, what's the like up on the mountain right now? Well, I know the snow conditions, it was up there yesterday, you know, it's, it's this, or it's, it's easy when you do the sport and then you sell that to others um, and you have a bit of confidence to, to sell that to the customer. You, that's, that's what you do and that's what you love to do. You definitely have to make good, really good use of your space, so you want to lay it out. Yeah, I mean, in a way that, that, that people can walk through the store, that can flow, it has a bit of flow, but still displays a product prominently. You use your, your, the space that you have to your advantage. All right, Mark, so I'm here. Put me to work. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's just um, like, let's make this look really appealing here. Let's get the pedals, a nice display, eye candy. We want, uh, you know, we want uh, customers to come in and have a look at that, and let's sell some pedals. As a sales clerk, you, you have to, um, you know, understand. You got to count your change. You got to, you got to make sure you're on top of that. You have to be uh, number smarts. Uh, definitely goes a long way uh, in this game. My hours are nine to six, four days a week. But you can pick as many days as you want. Your hours can vary in retail sales. Once you've done your sales, you're able to uh, build on that in a way that you could move forward in your career and maybe in real estate, commercial real estate. It's just the stepping blocks to making sales and gaining confidence and selling what you want. Well, lots of rewarding aspects. You get to try all this new product all the time, which is really neat. And a great part of your job, and so that makes it easy, and that's what I love to do. Thanks for coming by. Take care, all, all right? right? You bet. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.